we ask conservatives to see back what woke means? Very exciting stuff. Can't wait to see what they had to say about this. If you've been paying attention to politics really at all in the last few years, you know that Republicans are obsessed with a certain word. Wokeness is a virus more dangerous than any pandemic cans down. Most of us know that woke is a is a term created by black Americans, and it basically means being aware of what's going on around you, especially when it comes to issues of race and social justice. But last week, some of the most committed ultra MAGA supporters got together for CPAC, the annual conservative conference, where definitions of this term were murky. I think the woke today are basically the ones who buy into the mainstream dominant narrative of that everything's a uh, identity oriented, virtue signaling position to have a different position of power. That whole narrative, I, don't, I mean, I, I think that's, people who genuinely believe that are basically brainwashed. Wokery is part of the Marxist agenda along with ESG, along with the you know, 1619 movement and, and BLM. What do you think woke means? I think that there's the, um, an attack on regular family values that <laughs> have been consistently yeah. themed in this in the in the United States. Yeah, th this is the closest you get to fascist uh, rhetoric. This guy's not smart enough to be like, oh yeah, it's just bad. It's when it, it's all the bad things. He's just so straight up said traditional family values is an attack on traditional family values. Yeah, dude, that's why all the woke people are trying to fucking forcibly separate trans children from their fucking parents. You know what I mean? Or that's why all the woke people are literally. Um. That's why the woke people like Ben Shapiro are advocating that the government come in and and uh, subject you to the foster care system, like kidnap you and put you in the fucking foster care system uh, if you don't have enough money to, to feed your child. States for hundreds of years. I'm a mom. And so for me, woke is probably a little bit different than just the, the huge general population. I think more about my children and schools that they're in and children are now coming home and thinking that they have to accept things that maybe we didn't teach in our family or in our home. So everything is it's just being disrupted. Even if nobody is 100 percent consistent in how they define it, one thing you are sure to get here is a steady stream of over-the-top invective about it from the stage. In fact, anti-wokeness seems to be the glue that is holding an otherwise fractious GOP together at the moment. And the thing is, GOP anti-wokeness is really just new packaging for an old idea. We used to call it the culture war, and its main tenant seems to be that diversity is bad. We will teach our values and promote our history yeah. and our traditions to our children. We will, in other words, be proud of our country again. And at CPAC, it's easy to think that, quote, the war on woke is America's main issue. But out in the real world, most Republicans think that their leadership isn't focusing on what matters most, the economy. It's not clear if anti-wokeness is the winning strategy that some Republican officials think it is. When I see the state of politics right now and kind of what's on the ballot for 2024, Topics like woke is just a complete distractor from actual issues. Homelessness is up. People are out of jail. Yeah, my man. That's a... Bro, look at that. That's a... That's that right there. You know what that is? That's an old school conservative. He's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. We know this is not the best thing to talk about. So I think it's time to fucking... It's not the best thing to talk about. I think it's time to just uh, make sure that uh, we only... We hammer on the issues that we care about, like uh, deregulation deregulation baby you know tort reform or whatever the fuck jobs people are struggling to pay the bills gas prices are up those are the issues that i care about i feel it's very disingenuous to say that the most important issue is whether or not we're putting a transgender bathrooms republicans were running this idea for like the past like what three four election cycles look how that turned out GOP voters are hungry for an electoral win, and at least some of the elected officials we ran into at CPAC are more keen to talk about what they're up to in Congress. I gave my speech about the border, I gave my speech about the oversight agenda, uh, and about the work that we have to do to make sure that our government isn't weaponized. So I tried to give a really substantive policy speech about th those matters. Okay. We're focused on reducing crime, we're focused on reducing inflation, we believe we have inflation because Washington spent too much money, but the big priority is is trying to get uh, the border secure. And that's more important than wokeness, you probably think. Well, yeah, I, absolutely. We, we're 
concerned about reducing inflation. We're concerned about uh, we're concerned about reducing crime, which would mean securing the border. And uh, we're concerned about the government being involved in in trying to change the way people think. Just how anti-woke a candidate should be is something that will be tested in the upcoming primaries. But the person who is making a pretty successful attempt at honing in on the quote, woke mind virus, his words, not ours, is someone who wasn't even at CPAC, Florida Governor Ron DeSantis. DeSantis has made anti-wokeness his political brand by signing the Don't Say Gay Bill, banning CRT in Florida classrooms, and going after Disney. And starting this month, Florida is expected to pass a bunch more measures, like banning the use of preferred pronouns in K-12 schools and scrapping gender studies and diversity programs in state universities. This is what turning anti-woke words into actual anti-diversity policy looks like. And it might set up DeSantis nicely to tangle with former President Donald Trump. Well, DeSantis is coming out of the, the pulpit of an actual governor right now. And by him making, taking that stance against the woke as the CEO of a state, it's actually a pretty bold move. So he's not sidelined like Trump is now talking as a private citizen. He's making that a, a, a stance of the executive branch of government for the state of Florida. It's pretty bold. I love I'm that. Michael Learmont, editor-in-chief of Vice News. Too often, traditional news outlets shy away from the real stories and experiences of those living through global conflicts, not Vice News. Our reporters are on the ground, fearlessly covering the human stories that shape our world. Oh, oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my fucking Lord, dude. I love that shit. I love when people go, yo, let's, let's act like the elected representative is a fucking CEO. Like, let, oh, that's like a CEO. It's like, bro, you just chose the least accountable motherfucker. You know what I mean? American conservatives are so brain broken, so insanely idiotic that they quite literally point to a guy who is like a, a group of individuals who are like most famously villainized uh, because they are villains in society as like the right people. It's so dumb, bro. You are literally pointing to a fascist leader. You're, you're basically saying, I want a king because in many respects, there is no difference between a king and a CEO. Inside of the corporation, there is no difference between a king and a CEO. As long as the CEO is doing things that benefit the shareholders, he is the most powerful person. He is not accountable. He is not elected. Okay? There is no democratic process to decide who the CEO is. And the American government is quite similar to that. Okay? It's just the board uh, and the CEO is responsible, the politicians are responsible for their corporate benefactors, the wealthy. That's it. Like, ultimately, a corporation is authoritarian. There is no democracy inside of a corporation. That's, like, kind of at the heart of, like, what anarcho-syndicalists advocate against uh, when, they, when they say they want to make uh, a workplace democracy, right? Corporation is fascist. You don't choose your boss. Your boss tells you what the fuck to do. And that's how it works.